Okay, so all of the prices will be in AUD, Australian dollar. So US dollars is going to minus a bit of money off them. Um, so yeah, here we go. So the first drone off our list is the DJI Tello or the Rise Tello. It is a pretty affordable drone. It is just a full toy grade drone. You fly it around, have some fun. You got accessories for it. Um, it doesn't go any further than probably 100 meters at max. It's got a little camera on the front, but you're not going to be getting stable footage out of that. That is just going to be maybe a photo now and then. Um, but even then, it's just a, thing, a 5 megapixel or an 8 megapixel camera. So that is the DJI or Rise Tello. Next on the list, we have the DJI Spark. This is also a pretty affordable drone, but once you add in the controller, it actually gets a bit more expensive. It has a lot of cool features though, um, quick launch, simple control, and you can control it with your hands. It's a bit of a gimmick actually. I've got one myself and you would never use that, like, yeah. And then you've got, um, you can just control it with your phone. You've got all these smart features and we've got just straight away share it, yeah. So that's just the features they're giving you off the bat. It's got a, so there we go with the hand gestures again. You're never gonna use that because you just pull out your phone or the controller. But you've got quick shots, which has got about six um, different modes inside it, like active, um, like droney, um, and circle, and whatever else. You've got tap fly. Personally, I've never used that. I've only tried it once, but the drone goes a bit too slow for my liking in that mode. We've got active track as well. I've used that a few times when on my skateboard or mountain biking. It works all right, but as soon as you go quickly past the drone, it will often lose you. Um, and then there's the gesture controls. So it has, I would say, a pretty decent camera for photos. Videos is also good for your daily driver, like as a little travel drone. The video is okay, but only in um, 1080p format, so you're not gonna be getting that full 4K frames. Um, it's got, in sport mode, this is just a real fun drone to fly around. So it's got obviously um, 16 minutes of flight time. Honestly, you only get about 12 out of that. Um, two kilometers range. I've actually gone further. If you, I like to plug actually a lead from the controller into my um, phone, and that makes it go a lot further. And that is the Spark for $629 on the DJI website. 12 megapixel camera. As I said, great photos out of this, um, but the video only in 1080p. I'll have everything linked down below so you can check it out. Okay, next off our list is a bit of a new one to the drone market. It was released pretty recently. Just another one that I've chucked in here. It's pretty interesting. Folds up. Obviously not as portable as the Mavics series, but it does fold up. It does do 4K. It has a HDR camera. Um, it has zoom. And a cool feature is the camera can do a 180 and point straight up to the sky, which can you can get some pretty good photos with. It also has 21 megapixels, which will allow that zoom to happen um, on a three axis gimbal. So as you see here, 2.8 times zoom. And you got HDR. So this one has got downward facing sensors, but no obstacle sensing on the front of the drone. It is a really nice drone, um, great for those who want a 4K drone, don't want to spend over the top amount of money, but obviously it is um, still pretty expensive at that $1,000 price range. The next one has probably got to be my favourite drone on the list. So that is the DJI Mavic Air. It's an incredible piece of technology that folds up into such a small form factor. This is smaller than the DJI Spark when it folds up. It has all these crazy features, um, spheres, it's really portable, 3x gimbal 4K. It's just, and it goes around obstacles when it senses them as well. It also has a longer flight time than the Spark. It's literally the Spark 2. It's got the three axis gimbal with the 4K. As you can see, there's a sphere photo. That is pretty incredible how much detail that can get into it. So with the 32 megapixels. 
Um, it does 4K at 100 megabytes um, bytes per second. In video, it also it only does 4K at 30, though not 4K at 60. It can do slow motion at 120 frames per second at 1080p and HDR photos. So that's without HDR, that's with HDR. So it literally brightens some patches that might be dark up and just gives it more detail overall. So it is only a 12 megapixel camera, so you're going to get the same image quality of photos with this as a Spark, but the video is going to be a lot better. Another amazing feature is they've included the 8 gig internal storage which means I always forget an SD card. If you forget an SD card, you can still get some incredible shots. And it's also got all the new quick shot modes. Okay, so the next one's been around for a while, but is still a good drone. Honestly, this one, if you want to go further, you're getting the Mavic um, Pro. If you want a smaller drone, you're going to get the Mavic Air. Um, the Mavic Pro is the same quality camera, pretty much. Um, the Mavic Airs does look a bit better, but this one goes further. It is a bit faster, and it is a tad bigger though, and it is a bit more expensive. So, this has pretty much got all the same features, except it doesn't go around obstacles. Um, it's just an older drone. You can check out more detail about this. It's literally just a bit of a degrade of the Mavic Air. Okay, now we've got the Autel Evo, another new competitor in the drone market. It does 4K at 60 frames per second, which is pretty incredible, which is the same as the Phantom 4 Pro. It has a lot of cool features, like a longer battery life. It can also fold up into a nice small form factor like the Mavic. Not quite as portable, it's a bit taller, but um, still very portable. The controller is pretty intuitive to use, but feels a bit cheaper in the hand. So the Autel Evo is $9.99 US dollars, that is approximately 1,400 AUD. So as we see here, you get a 32 gig SD card included, which is pretty good, which records one hour of 4K video. The Autel Evo uses USB Type-C. It is, it literally will have all the same features that you will get out of a Mavic or a Mavic, um, it's pretty much the Mavic Pro, just as Autel. So I will not go through all the spec lists there. Now, this has got to be probably my personal favourite drone overall, apart from the Mavic Air. This is the Phantom 4. So you've got the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0, you've got the Phantom 4 Pro, um, you've got Obsidian, you've got Advanced, and the Advanced has got the exact same camera as the Pro, just with less sensors. Um, the Pro and the version 2.0. Version 2.0, the only upgrade there is in the motors. The motors are now quieter and more efficient, which will give you an extra 2 minutes of flight time. The camera has a 1 inch sensor and a 20 megapixels. It is probably the best camera on a drone out there in its price range. It has five directions of obstacle sensing on the Pro version. The Advanced and just the Phantom 4 do not, but on the Pro version you get this, both the sides and the back, but the sides are turned off unless you're in beginner mode. So, also you can get it with a screen built in or without. This has a incredible camera with all these modes you can do and is just a amazing drone overall with 4K at 60 frames per second, one inch sensor, mechanical shutter, five directions of obstacle sensing, seven, seven kilometer or 4.3 miles of long range control with a 30 minute flight time and dual cooling. It is the best drone for aerial imaging of its price range. Next we move up to an interesting one in the drone um, market which is unique. So they have created a lot of drones in their time. Um, they're probably biggest drone at the moment with the best camera that we'll be comparing to the Phantom 4 is the Unique H520. This drone is orange, it has, but it's a lot bigger, um, carbon fiber arms. It is actually a hexacopter, I think they call it. So it has six propellers instead of four, 
it is it does 4K, 20 megapixel stills, and the camera is pretty nice on it. Um, a feature that the Phantom 4 doesn't have that the Unique does is the camera can spin 360 degrees around without the drone moving. A really nice um, feature to have as then the drone can be hovered steady and you can just control the camera. As you can see there are loads of different cameras you can get for this drone as it is not limited to just one camera. So it also has sensors on the front and on the bottom of the drone. Now we're going to move up to the Mavic 2. The Mavic 2 is an incredible piece of technology and we will show you the video. At DJI, true innovation is seeing the bigger picture. Every iteration is the culmination of all that we do to bring you the very best. Here's everything you've been waiting for and beyond. This is Mavic 2. The aircraft comes in two new additions, Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom. Both cameras utilize DJI's latest three-access gimbal technology, ensuring smooth, stable footage in any situation. Mavic 2 Pro commands a powerful one-inch sensor, offering you greater image quality with superior light and color performance. Co-engineered with Hasselblad, the new camera houses an adjustable aperture lens for more control over your lighting environment. Capture stunning aerial photos in 20 megapixels with extreme detail. Mavic 2 Pro supports a 10-bit D-Log M color profile that yields higher dynamic range for more flexibility in the grading room. Mavic 2 Zoom is all about dynamic perspective. With a 2 times optical zoom lens, it offers greater safety, efficiency, and more creative opportunities. The 48mm focal length compresses your perspective enhancing the parallax effect for a classic cinematic look. You're able to punch in quickly for a tighter shot, even from 100 meters away, keeping a safe distance from your subject. Don't be fooled by its size. Matic 2's zoom lens is powerful, constantly adjusting to your commands for seamless zoom control and autofocus tracking. This keeps your subject clear while you focus on framing. Mavic 2 Zoom gives you access to Dolly Zoom for an otherworldly warped perspective. Both editions record 4K video with an advanced H.265 compression so your images retain even more detail. Speed things up in a dynamic aerial hyperlapse with a simple tap of a button. Four different modes give you a variety of shots for any time-lapse situation. Mavic 2 also supports enhanced HDR photo, an improved technique that blends a sequence of photos for greater dynamic range and image clarity. It wouldn't be a Mavic if it couldn't go with you anywhere, anytime. We kept that same foldable design and tweaked a few things that make a world of difference. After countless hours of research and testing, Mavic 2's refined chassis and low noise propellers make it DJI's most advanced aerodynamic aircraft to date. These subtle yet powerful improvements give you a smoother, quieter flight for greater discretion when the situation requires. Mavic 2 extends your creative potential with up to 31 minutes of flight time at a max speed of 72 kilometers per hour in sport mode. The all-new OcuSync 2.0 provides a 1080p transmission signal up to 8 kilometers so you can edit full HD footage directly from the cache on your mobile device. 2.4 to 5.8 gigahertz auto switching offers better performance in environments with busy signal interference. For the first time in a DJI drone, Mavic 2 boasts obstacle sensors on all sides of the aircraft. Its digital nervous system continually transmits data to a new, more powerful central processor. The aircraft analyzes every inch of its surroundings to move around obstacles without stopping so you can focus on capturing the perfect shot. When you have a need for tracking at high speeds, stay fully immersed in the action with ActiveTrack 2.0.
Aided by its vision systems, Mavic 2 maps a 3D view of the environment for greater accuracy and tracking up to 72 kilometers per hour. Trajectory prediction algorithms also help to maintain course when your subject is blocked by an obstruction. DJI goggles users can enjoy an enhanced experience with a clearer video feed and lower latency. When it comes to portability or quality, small details or the big picture, your vision or reality, Mavic 2 brings the best of both worlds. So you can explore the outer reaches of your imagination and create content that truly feels out of this world. Okay, so that video literally describes the Mavic 2. It is pretty incredible and Phantom 4 Pro's camera is still better. The Mavic 2's camera does not do 4K at 60 frames per second, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, so next up we have the Inspire 2. This is only for professionals and doesn't even include the camera where it is $4,699 without a camera. As you can see, it is pretty much for professionals as it can do 5K. Um, it is, look, 5K... 5.2K video, um, it is, you can control it with two remote controls, one for the camera and one for the drone. You have got loads of different cameras and lenses that you can swap out on the go. It supports Apple ProRes, Cinema DNG and RAW format, 5.2K at 30 frames per second with a 12 um, profile bitrate and a 2.6 GBPS. This is an absolute incredible drone and pretty much if you're a professional this is what you have to go for. But it can be pretty pricey and with everything fully kitted out and what you would probably want to do on a cinema set it is going to cost you over $20,000. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you'd like another video like this leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, see ya.